What's up guys, how you doing? Thank you very much for checking out the video and welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Colorcraft Bushcraft. Uh, if this is your first time here, my name's Alex and this channel is all about learning and developing bushcraft skills. Uh, today's video is footage of a camping trip that I did with two really good buddies of mine, uh, with Irish and Dave. Uh, Irish is the tall one, Dave's the, uh, Dave's the short one. Um, Irish's real name is Andy, but you won't hear us refer to him uh, as that. He's, he's Irish because, um, well, because he's Irish. Incredibly inventive with our nicknames. Uh, anyway, I wanted to put in a little disclaimer at the start of this video, uh, just to make you guys aware that, uh, as you might expect, you know, with three guys hanging around camping, uh, sitting around a campfire and drinking whiskey, um, some of the, the language used can be a little bit salty, uh, and some of the uh, topics of conversation can be a little bit crude. So I just wanted to put a tiny little disclaimer in to say if I've missed any of the really bad words, I'm sorry. Um, and everything and any, everything and anything that's said in this video is all very tongue-in-cheek. You know, it's us having fun, it's not meant to be taken seriously. So, uh, so just bear that in mind as you're, uh, as you're watching this. Uh, the other thing uh, that I wanted to say is a massive, massive thank you to Irish and Dave. Uh, thank you guys for coming along with me. Um, I had a really good time, I hope you guys did too. Uh, and yeah, thank you very much for agreeing to be on film. So uh, with that said, uh, let's get on with it. I hope you enjoy. You know how you didn't bring a. I didn't even anything. bring a roll mat or anything. I've got a secondary tarp which I'm going to fill with foliage. I'll create a mat. I'm going to fashion myself a mattress. <laughs> it's going to be comfy as. <laughs> you film me. Okay, well that'll be beat. <laughs> <laughs> You mean the weird little twig? No, the black thing. There. Come here. Can you see it? Or am I just being weird? That black thing in between the trees? Looks like a pig. It does look like a pig. Don't know. I? I think I'm being stared at by a pig. What? I think I can see a boar staring at us. Oh, yeah? yeah. I doubt it's a boar. Also doesn't seem to be moving particularly. It but it, could, it almost looks like the head's pointing straight towards us and he's just like frozen. I suspect it may be a rock That's so covered weird. in it moss. Looks like, a... <laughs> looks like a what? <laughs> An effing uh, pig. <laughs> Can't, swear. Can't swear. Can't swear. That's only going to get harder when the risk is Oh my god, yeah. Well, I've just blasphemed as well. I don't know if that's allowed. Well, that's a much better way than I went. <laughs> yeah. I went a stupid way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, Joffrey! <laughs> ah. right. Not bad, eh? I've got to say, gents, this is a very good find. This way. Really, really good spot. Oh, yeah, because yeah, when we came here, like it was in a like it's like in a nice little circle. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, plenty of deadwood, they're full, 
Yeah. Not near that path, which is over there, covered by lots of trees. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if we have the fire... Yeah, I was thinking, although it does look like it's grown in the last week, because it was a lot clearer. I mean, to be honest, the only thing we want to make sure we do is avoid singeing these lower yeah. branches. Yeah. The ones at the top will be all right. Yeah. Well, there, is there we'll have to clear it anyway, because it's full of yeah. Well, I mean, the other thing is, we don't necessarily have to have the fire in the middle of the camp. And also, we've got this is quite a big old sphere. And we don't have to be right there. Yeah, I mean, we can go down there. It's a lot more open, less trees besides tarp so we each need two. Obviously, we can share a tree. Yeah, yeah, I can share a tree. Yeah. But I mean, I think this is probably more flat than well, that one over there. This is very flat here. Yeah, which is what you want, particularly for sleeping. Yeah. So like, you could have one top there. You have one here. Can you in between the these tree, two? That that tree's too big. Yeah. But you could do between that little offshoot and that little offshoot. Yeah. And then you could do between those two, yeah. or those two, and at least then it would be... I think I think this is where we sleep. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is just the open space, isn't it, above uh -huh. the fire. I mean, the other thing that we could do is trim off these branches, just clear yeah, yeah. these lower ones, like the jump, grab, pull them, snap them. So we're not hurting the tree too much, and then if we have the fire here, yeah, we should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Nice. Right. So, celebratory beer now that we're here. Why not? Yeah. And then we can think about park stuff. I definitely think we need to uh, fashion some little log seats. Make it a nice little camp area. Yeah. Although, not, like, as in not sitting on the ground. It's quite nice to have an I brought one. my sit pad, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm definitely yeah, yeah, we can definitely grab some of these bigger logs and move them to. I'm definitely going to try and fashion a log or something. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, let's see. Go <laughs> on. Go on. Right. Yes, delicious beer. Come yeah. here then. Is there, is there any pools of water around here? No. There's a pond about probably it's what? It's a good old track. 20 minutes, half an hour maybe? Oh, fine. Yeah. No, no. More, it was more just to put beer in to keep cold. Nah. Well, that's a warm beer it is. <laughs> yep. That's all right. Cheers, Jen. Heroes. Oh, that's a nice bit. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Can you ask him? Just a little bit. Huh? A little bit? Uh, yeah, I was about to crack and try whiskey. Oh, don't do that. Too soon. Alright. Um, yeah, I really like this. This is beautiful. Nice to be able to see the stars, isn't it? But yeah, well, we can go move out to the That's true, yeah, we can walk there. Yeah, exactly. We don't need to. Yeah. Alright. Just so, three seconds? Seven, three seconds? Yes. I mean, I'm going in between these two. These two. Alright, so you want those two? Yeah. You want which two? So, you'll need to use. Well, my advice, take it or leave it, will be to use the offshoot of the tree. Yeah, rather than. Oh, yeah. Waste the cord going around. Not my Yeah. Almost four. I'm really tempted to try the um, tarp tent. The tarp tent? Yeah. It's nice, but it will be flipping hot. It will be roasting. Mm -hmm. You'll be absolutely roasting when you wake up. Really? Yeah, you'll be sweating buckets. Um, I don't know if you watched the, the little video I did when I tried to see how quickly I could put it up. Yeah. Literally put it up, got inside it, and it was already roasting. Really? And it wasn't anywhere near as, as well, hot as it's going to be. It's going to be one way in for air, isn't it? There's no it's good for it's good for cover when it's raining and windy, unless you're on dark morning you don't turn it around and it just goes straight in mm. uh, and it just collapses uh, twice, no three times. I eventually gave up after the third time it collapsed. So I've, I've had that. I'm gonna could just do an A-frame so. across those two, can I? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna do. A, I'm going stealth or stealth or um, TP. most likely TP. Was 
Is the stealth one the low one? Like yeah, the, about that the high. The stealth is the one that I was going to use my force for, but I might just use the one where you wrap around and you use it. Tuck it underneath? Yeah. yeah. I was thinking the that as well. The teeth is exactly the same, but it doesn't have the two. Yeah, yeah. Side yeah, bars, just yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how I look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, even though he's quite nerdy, yeah. like I do find his videos good. No, it's good. I like him. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm to do a lean to. Yeah. Lean It's not. Yeah. Um, it's more where the guidelines yeah. come out. Yeah, off this uh, one. Right. Off the same one that I'm going to tie on to, basically. If I'm going here, then just do it there. Maybe. No, don't you see the it's problem good. is that I need to be able to tie the two guidelines out because I'll have the the back and then an overhang. But in order to make the overhang not through, I need two trees that I can attach it to straight out. So I guess, depending upon how much power I've got, I've got to put them them. So I can, go, I can go between these two trees and, and then tie off to that tree, maybe, and that tree that Dave's using. Or you're just going to have it coming out that way. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'll lie here yeah. in between the two trees. Yeah. I'll have the back going yeah. basically where that tree is, the same kind of angle, and then at the top it'll just come out a bit in case it rains. Okay, like, like your shelter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Next time. Yeah, yeah, exactly like my shelter, but with a, a little overhang. It's really easy to do, and you get loads of airflow and looks cool. This window's not so. These aren't closer. Yeah, they to be quite I mean, far away. Yeah, but not, not to begin with, not to yeah, yeah. Evening, so something, the end, something to consider is the yeah, gradient yeah, of the well. ground and where you lay yourself. Yeah, yeah. So if you lay with your head at the top of the, if there is a little hill, lay with your head at the top. And I'm the happy way. Well, that's why I quite like this spot. Yeah, yeah, you've got a good one then. Like a flat spot. Which, well, are you going from that tree to the big tree? Yeah. Or are you just going between I'm those two? I'm just thinking these two. My yeah. tarp's probably about that wide. Oh, I suppose you're, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I am small. You are small. You weigh nothing. <laughs> you weigh nothing. You weigh nothing. nothing. Joke's plain. Yeah. Plain. <laughs> what was that, Dave? That's such a good day. <laughs> huh? Yeah, definitely filming you cleaning up your area. Chilly I'm going to fest in my, I in just my undies. I'll pull these down if it gets chilly. Yeah. I don't think it will. No. Well, if it does, you just get in your sleeping bag. <laughs> I mean, it's not. Yep. A... Yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty simple. Not a big thing either way. Ain't no big thing. Ain't no thing. Right, food. Go over there. My tools. See this new blade? Oh, yeah, yeah, you haven't seen it yet. Did you add on the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I added on the, the tie. Go! You please. <laughs> right, well, that's getting beeped. <laughs> oh. <laughs> tell me! <laughs> I did tell you! He actually did. He actually used the word, right, I am filming. I wasn't. It's fine. Good. 30 centimetres. Oh, no, it's not. I just see the left bit here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I would just. Well, to be honest with you, I should I do this side first. I mean, it's up to you. So you go. So you come back on yourself and then you go. You make a loop with this. Yeah. And then you go towards the tree and then twist once towards the tree. Yeah. All the way towards the tree. And then that comes back underneath. And then you get. Yeah. So, sorry. once towards the tree so it's like a half one it's back underneath and then this tail end comes through the loop and that's where you, then you put the stick in there does that make sense no 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 so the now you form the loop that's it twist once towards the tree that's it take the tail end perfect and then the stick goes in between these bits yeah so where my finger is yeah that's where the stick goes i think 
at least anyway. Then you just pull it all tight. Okay. What about your pillow? Huh? Wait, <laughs> pillow. So the issue the issue with this okay. is because there's now because this isn't taut anymore. <coughs> yeah. You've got all of that excess. So we need to start again. But as I say, what I would do is I would do the other side first. It seems like there is. That's not going anywhere. I would just take the top and throw you. Because you've only got, to be fair, you've actually only got so much room on this tree as well. Yeah. Because like that's a, this is about as low as you're going to get it. Yeah. Which, which might be okay. Yeah, so try that. So then that comes over the top. Mm -hmm. uh, and, then. and then this bit comes through. We just did it, and now I can't remember. <laughs> so I haven't done this one for a while because I've stopped. I've stopped doing this. Not. I've started doing the well, what are you doing? event pitch instead. It is. Doesn't bother it. Doesn't bother it. Oh, okay. All right. So to do the event hitch, mm -hmm. you come round the tree. Yeah. Uh, you make like a little sort of partial shelf. I tell you what, you just do this. Undid this for a sec. Right. So the event hitch was developed by Siberian reindeer herders. Developed by um, Siberian reindeer herders, so the idea is that it's kind of easy and you can do it even if you're having a freeze. So you come around the tree, mm -hmm. you make a sort of a parcel shelf with your hand, yeah. this goes over, yeah, twist that way, and then you take the tail end, and then that bit comes through. Honestly, it's not work, I'm pretty sure that can be exactly the same way as I'm trying to find a piece of meat. Yeah, you pull two pieces in it, two pieces of string. You're holding one, and it's that same movement, it's like turning it around the back. Yeah. So you don't need to stick to these, either. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to find it. If I'm trying to find it. Because I think I'm looking up here for the piece of meat. I'm imagining a pig. Oh, do I have it like that? Come back around then. Similar the thing, yeah. And then you just and then pull, pull that bit through. That bit through. And then as you pull that, it should. Should be tight enough. Yeah. Well, there you go, just do that. That should work. That's what I'm stuck in the ground, So I think you'd need okay. to yeah, just get a stick with some socks on it and yeah. do it that way. Yeah. But that's cool. Can you lie down in it? <laughs> Let's find out. Learn from the best. Show you a bit of an Yes, I can. Nice. So actually then, yeah, so if we did have this pulled nice and oh, tight, yeah. <laughs> and put that yeah, mate. in there. Yeah, that's stop it curling up in your feet and in the night. Huh? Uh, what what colour is doing? Putting that one in there. It's quite handy. Hitting the dirt break once, I think. Can you hook it back underneath? Mm. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, yeah. and then, as I say, get a stick with some socks on and push the... End up. I do think I think you're all right, Dave. I think this does need to come slightly further yeah. this way. So that's Irishman pretty much set up. Five So that is a proper size of this. So I was going to use so this possibly like across that. Well, I was thinking that real simple A-frame, guide you know guide right across there between those two trees and literally 
put it down on yeah, the side. Yeah, yeah, the, the question is, is this enough room for you to be underneath it? Yeah, well, quite lengthwise. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely, I won't, it, my head won't even get to that end. Lie down. Show the camera. See? Hello. <laughs> Okay, fine. All right, yeah. That, yeah. That's, that's, so all, that's all this means then is your um, really top line needs to be really high. Yeah, yeah, and, and then, then I'll just peg the down. corners in to keep it nice and yeah. tall. It does simple. mean you won't have any view out into the camp, but if you're okay with it's, that. I'm fine with it in the because what I was thinking is having like a little log store on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, I mean, I'm not going to be here, you over there, and you over there, and we're going to be sat there going, hello. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. What's it like over there? <laughs> I don't know, I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, I mean, that's, yeah, that's very easy to do. Yep. What kind of um, pipeline do you think? Okay. Um, well, no, I mean, might as well show me, a, show me a loop or two. Do you want me to show you the one that I showed him? Yeah. All right. So, as I said to him, this is the, I think it's pronounced Eventsu, but I'm not certain. Yes. Um, it was, he is using his saw. It was developed by Siberian reindeer herders. Right. And it's the one reindeer uses. So okay. I have a lot of time for it. Yep. It's not surprising. Nothing. Good old Ray. Lord Ray! And uh, so what you do is you come around the tree. Yeah. You make a sort of a shelf, if you like, with your hand. And then your tail end comes back on itself. Oh, yeah. yeah. Twist your hand that way. It's so around the knot. Yeah. Right. You pinch with your index finger and yeah. the thing and just pull out. And then that's, yeah, that's movable. And then the tension yeah. keeps the other side of the knot. Yeah, and that also keeps it tight. Yeah, exactly. You want to go? Yeah. Around, yeah, that's right, around the tree. So and remember, considering where shelf. you want it. Probably. To be fair, if it's, to be fair, even if your top line's lower, it just means you'll have more space inside because you'll have to pull the things out further, so it's not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, so you did a little So do your left hand. My left hand? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so then with your tail end. Yeah. This comes back around your hand. A little loop. Yeah. That's it. And all you do is with your left hand, do, literally do that. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this end. Yeah. Pinch this end between your index finger and middle finger. Which, where? So like that. Yeah. So, no, no. Get your thumb. Yeah. Keep your hand that way. Yeah. Between your index finger and middle finger. Right. And then you pull that through this loop. So pull your hand out. That's oh, it. I see. Yeah. That's it. Oh, okay. Got it. And yeah. then you just tighten it all up. Tighten it up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You I get there. Yeah, so that, that's it. And then I've got enough. And then you say, so what I would suggest you do, yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then this yeah. comes up and in between these two fingers. That's it. And, and then, then I pull, it out. pull that through, yeah. That's it. Keep hold of it. Pull yeah. it out. Pull it back. That's it. And then you just keep, now get hold of your tail end, yeah. uh, your big end, and then get hold of the knot, push the knot towards the tree. And you just tighten it all up. That's it. That's it. And you take your finger out of that loop. There you go. That's it. So that loop just stays there, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So then you just pull it so it's level to the tree. Yeah. Push it against the tree. And you should, nice. that should then hold. Yeah. I mean, it's only holding the top. The top yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you do. Unfortunately, Annoyingly. unfortunately you do. Yeah. Which you, you don't need much of two, but you, yeah, you do need two. <coughs> so if you want, do you want me to show you the other bit of the knot that yeah. I showed him? Do you want me to hold this tall, or does it not really matter? No, no, what we're going to do is we'll put, we're going to have to put another I think we're going to have to put an extra bit in this. So all I'm doing is putting the two together, simple as I'm not. Yeah. And that will hold. Yeah. Right, so what we then do with this lot uh -huh. is the first thing to do is that weird little loop that I showed you. So you're coming back on yourself. Yeah, and then a second And just degree. pinch, and that goes through that one. Nice. You get that. Cool. And what, what's that for? This is because you take this around the tree. And then this end, yeah, we're going to have lots of excess, but yeah. we'll just have to tie it up somewhere. That's right. Yeah. <coughs> so this end goes through this loop. Okay. Oh, and it's in it a little exactly tension. Then tensions it. Right, gotcha. Just yank on it. Nice. So it tensions against the tree itself. Yeah. Now we need to make sure that this is level. level as much as possible. <coughs> Probably. <coughs> Pretty good, maybe. Maybe a little bit on this maybe side. Maybe on your side. Oh, yeah. I would. Yeah. I that's, if you yeah, can I think get that's it. There, that's I think that's fine. Right on. On. Yeah. So what you then do is pull this so that this is nice and tight. Yeah. And you can ping it like a guitar string. Yeah. 
right? And then your tail end comes back round the tree. Oh, yeah. This is the one you were showing me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You then, all of this then comes back over the yeah. knot. So let's just get rid of all of this. Right, because all we're doing now is pinching these two bits of paracord yeah, together. To them again, so then you yeah. pull that together. Yeah. Come back around the tree this way. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, then we'll it and then you go over the top. Yeah. And what we're doing here is you can see, can you see I've formed a loop. Yeah. So you twist once towards the tree, pull it back under. Yeah. Come under this. Nice. And then through this bit. Nice. Oh, yeah, pull it back. Cool. Ah. Ting. Okay. What I don't quite understand, I mean, I appreciate that this is nice and taut and tight, but mm. you could, could you not just do like some kind of just, like just a normal knot and just tighten it? Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah. The, re the reason for this, I think, is because of the conditions that the Siberian reindeer herders are in. Right. Because it's, it's very intricate, isn't this it? This isn't there, there. as fiddly as trying to like make a boat. Yeah. It's hook, hook, round, wrap, pull, huge twist. Yeah. I mean, I can feel that's a nice thought. I can't get anywhere, but you've got yeah. three separate things going on here. It also means it's, it's also not going to go anywhere, it's yeah. like how long you leave it up. So you could do um, a tarp line hitch, yeah. which is the one that Joe uses, that you can tighten and loosen really, really easily. Okay, yeah. Um, which is fine, uh, yeah. but it does tend to loosen over time. <laughs> so this, in theory, won't go anywhere. So why wouldn't you have done that on this end? Because... Or is it not needed? It's not, yeah, because this, this is the tensioning side. Right. That's just to get you up against the tree. Right. And then this is where you put in the tension, and this means that you can adjust it more easily. Okay. Cool. I think it's the I'm idea hoping anyway. it will touch the ground. Eh? I'm hoping it will touch the ground so I can peg it in. I so. think it. I think it will. Yeah. Um, so it depends whether you want to leave this in or you want to have a go at it. No, no let's leave it in. Let's leave it in. That was a complex one. Uh, all right. So then all you do is grab one end of it. Davy's A frame. Nice. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Yeah, here's a pro doing it. Kick it. Hey? Here's a pro doing it. Kick it. <laughs> My dinner's defrosting nicely. <laughs> yeah, mine's slowly, yeah. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's going to be bang on. Nice. Thank you. Hey, nice. Keep me up to do that. Hello. Ooh. <laughs> Should we start with Davey's setup? This is my tent. <laughs> Classic A frame, very nice. Simplistic. I do like your um, sleeping pad with the self pillow thing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was on Prime. Uh, 22 quid, I think. That's all right. I, mean, it was, um, I always do my searches by star rating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It did like four plus stars. And it was had a little tag on it, bestseller. That's so pretty good. Obviously, other people have been buying it. Irishman setup, complete with uh, interesting mattress choice. Fern, fern lining. Fern mattress. Fern mattress inside a tarp. Is it, is it a fern fern mattress? Springy. Fern That's fern mattress. Yeah, nice. Very cool. Can't Ow! He's bitten. And mine. walk into my own guidelines. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. I mean, they should have done dark green instead of luminous orange and yellow. Maybe they'd seen them. Or brown, maybe. Maybe that would have been easier to see. Yeah. What are we doing? I don't know, but <laughs> none shall pass. Where are we going to put the fire? Probably around here. 
Yeah, I think it's probably a good spot. If we get rid of that, so we'll trim a few of those back. Good spot, nice yeah. and open, just like straight up. Yeah. So, ideally, we need some rocks. We do. I found some stones, or we found some stones over there. Which way did we go? Don't know. Kind of, uh, they were dead, didn't we? Yeah, it's very done. But I think if we clear as much of this as we can of all of this dead form. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just Yeah, if we clear a nice big space here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. The thing is, it doesn't need to be big. So. No. So I think that'll be alright, and then if we cover that with some stones. Yeah, I think we're gonna kick some dirt into your tent. Yeah, I just lob, just lob, lob a big piece of his tent. <laughs> <laughs> Break wind in your general direction. <laughs> your mother was a hamster. And your father smelt of elderberries. Which apparently, back then, was a real insult. Really? Yeah. People did not like it. What? No. Saying somebody smelled of elderberries. Oh, he's got some good rocks. Got some good rocks. Any piddly contributions out of the way, shall we? Yeah. Who's picking up these little nubbins? <laughs> Point in these. Nubbins, nubbins are useful. See, they're filling all the gaps. Look at this bad boy. Look at these two little. Yeah, but you need the nubbins. Otherwise, you've got two big ones. That's the boat, though. Yeah, in the centre. Makes sense. Round toast! <laughs> He's pegging his chair! Oh, genius. Oh, genius. It doesn't mean. No, it's just naturally in that shit. Yeah, I don't care enough about my bike, too. <laughs> or not. At some point, I'd imagine I'll end up on the floor and trying to use that as a back support anyway, so. This might not work, but you never know. Okay, it's now filming, so... Gentle swearing only. <laughs> Man, I'm a six-year-old all over here screaming. I know you do. I'm very, very aware of that. <laughs> <coughs> right, you'll have to remind me how to play. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to play it. Uh, what? 
Do you remember? Oh, what should we call it? Poopy head. Vaguely. <laughs> poopy head for the so, sake of your listeners and viewers. <laughs> poopy head. <laughs> Does everyone know how to play president? Mm, I forget the rules. I've forgotten, but I will remember like literally within the first hand. So it makes because yeah, I can't remember poopy head particularly. <laughs> I oh, know, poopy head is the one way. <laughs> poopy head is the one, because otherwise I don't have to bleep it every single yeah. time we mention the name. Uh, poopy head is the one where you put three cards face down, isn't it? And then three on the top facing forwards. Oh, yeah. On the top. And then you've got cards in your hands, haven't you? Yeah. And there's, uh, I think you've got, what, you've got three in your hand? And you have to keep picking keep up. Picking up. And yeah. it's things like you have to, whoever lays the first card, you have to lay, the next card that is laid has to be higher, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Either has to be the same or higher, um, but there are there are certain cards do certain things. So two, a two resets the deck, so the next person can put whatever they want on. Um, three is <laughs> you've lost them already. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Why don't we just play president? All right, because right, I actually vaguely will remember. Yeah, okay, let's still don't remember the rules. Let's just play president. <clears throat> why, why are you giving me these? Because you know them. <laughs> I was hoping one of you did. Alright, so whoever has the three of diamonds is the first person to lay. I'm gonna say, that's not me. Uh, then it must be the. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I can't it say must that. Be who? I can't say that! <laughs> it must be Davey. Oh. It is indeed the stupid guy on my phone. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yep. The, the three has to be high. <clears throat> Should put like two fours and a and three sevens or something. <laughs> we don't like people. It's not alright. We do not like people. Ah, you know I what? Let's just. I just play on that. Wow! Much louder, much louder. Humans can get bent. Okay. Good. This stuff is going to burn really quickly. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But that's okay. Lucky, luckily, there's lots of it about. Yeah. Oh. Dave, smash! I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. Oh yeah! Yeah, baby! Did you say you had your pin bag That's fine, I think. Nice. Men are here. Make fire. Cook meat. 
put out fire by peeing, not get invited back. Not get invited back. Oh yeah! Look at the flame. Ooh, Look at them shine. Yeah. Look at them shine. <laughs> Look at them shine. My mirror balls. <laughs> I'm so happy somebody knew what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, cold. <laughs> They're burgers anyway, no, they're not the C word. Yeah, they're stuck. How are they stuck? I don't understand that. Um, because it was a really hot grill and you put a raw thing on there without any oil. Well, I don't have oil. I know, but you're asking why they're stuck, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes sense. Yeah. A lovely big old spider just crawling around your camp there. Oh, a little bit of the Montreal stick spicer. Uh, let's get that on there. That came. <laughs> Damn it! Filming! <laughs> You're crazy, friend. <laughs> I did not mean to swear. I'm sorry. My apologies. My most sincere apologies for the inconvenience. <laughs> Hope you're not too miffed. Bye. Bye. What? what? <laughs> Hope you're not too miffed. Bye. Bye. Ah, yeah. almost. Ah, oh, was that sheep? No. Yes. Right. Here's some head torch. Surely not. Duh. Flossy. <laughs> yes, Lord Melchin. But didn't we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Flossy. I'm going to put oh, my a stick on there. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> you sexy little boy. Can I borrow your um? Yeah. Steak with Montreal steak spice. Got a steak knife with you? Nice. That is <laughs> Who needs a steak knife, yeah, bro? Yeah, fair enough, yeah. <clears throat> I don't need a stinking steak knife. Is it nice and medium rare? That is I rare. hope so. I think that is. Oh, yeah. Look at that, bad boy. That's Damn. Good. Get in my mouth. Yeah. That'll do it. Mm-hmm. That knife cuts through like butter, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Nice work. I gotta say, this does beat the goulash. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I wonder why. That goulash wasn't bad. It was alright. My last yeah. roommate kiss. Alright. Kiss. Cool. Who's that? Uh, Futurama. Their little green... Oh, right, yeah, Green yeah, alien. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Barlow. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Bill Goldberg. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, is Bill Goldberg the character? Or is the character just Goldberg? Because he is Bill Goldberg. Mm, Wasn't yeah, that one no, cool? No, that's fair. I'll, 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 I'll take that one back. That's a good point. Um, Bilbo Baggins. Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh, that's... God. <laughs> Biffer. Boffer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's that's him. Anyway. It's me now. Damn it. Um, Keep Buffer in the, in the okay. back pocket. Bob back then. Nice. Buffer. Bomber. <laughs> Jay. What, be again? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> need a kid. Uh, yeah. Are we saying duh? Or K? K. K. Back to K. Ken Adams. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Adams. Adam West. Technically, yeah. Uh, Family Guy kind of yeah. yeah, but his real name is Adam West, but it was a character it's, of yeah, himself. It's definitely yeah. not him <laughs> in Family Guy, is it? It's him, it's the guy. No, I know it's the actor. Yeah. But my point is, is the character oh, of Adam no, West no, 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 in no, no, Family Guy is probably yeah, not what, yeah, how that's... Adam West behaves. You never know. Uh... Wow. 
Wallace. Nice. Where's little gummage? G? Yeah. Uh, X. Thanks, mate. Yeah.